Good afternoon, everybody. It's Martha again, and I'm here with a really quick little review of a brand new eyeshadow palette available exclusively at Ulta, and it is called the Miss Fabulous Eyeshadow Palette. It is a collaboration between Ulta and Jenny Fox. Jenny Fox is a YouTuber. And she and Ulta have gotten together to create a very nice, very affordable eyeshadow palette. This is $20 at Ulta exclusively. I ordered mine online, uh, but you can definitely check your Ulta stores to see if it's in stock. Uh, the packaging is cardboard. It looks quilted with a you know mauve pink quilted type of pattern it says miss fabulous eyeshadow palette by ulta and jenny fox it has a see-through lid so you can take a little peek at what's inside and on the back is a picture and a personal message from jenny fox herself let's open it up and take a peek inside but as usual i have to put on my glasses because i can't see or read a thing without them it does have a eyeshadow brush inside, a very nice tapered, fairly flat but very dense, very soft eyeshadow brush, which is pink with the rose gold trim, and I love rose gold, so you know, that's great for me. It works wonderfully. I have used this palette the last two days, and I will tell you one thing about this palette uh, before we go into the colors. It has had staying power for me. I have had really bad allergies the last two days. I have had the runny, drippy eyes. I have had the runny, drippy nose and the scratchy throat. I have had a headache. But, you know, my eyes have just driven me crazy. They have been teary and drippy and runny. Uh, you know, I take my Zyrtec every morning. But, you know, until the, the medicine actually kicks in, my eyes are just tearing and running. And sometimes, even after the medicine has kicked in, I still have some problems with the drippy eyes. So with all the blinking and dripping and dabbing at my eyes that I have had to do the last two days, I will say that the staying power of these eyeshadows have been really pretty good. Now I do use an eyeshadow primer. Sometimes it's just my foundation. I blend my foundation all over and kind of over my eyes. Uh, but I do also sometimes use an eyeshadow primer. And then I use a setting spray. Uh, primers and setting sprays really do help your makeup to last all day and there you know a couple of things that you might think uh, that's just really not something I need to use but you know you will notice a difference so I am really impressed with the staying power of these eyeshadows because if it can make it through two days of allergies it's pretty good to be uh, I will say two thumbs up for this one and I love the colors anyway uh, this palette will be beautiful for fall and for winter but for any time let's open it up and take a look inside again I am not going to swatch these like I normally do because I just don't think they show up well swatched on my hands and you know and everything and I do think it's because of the lighting in this place and it's also because I'm using the camera that's part of my um, my laptop and it may not pick up any true color like it really should and so I'm going to hold this palette up close to uh, the, the viewfinder and um, and just hopefully you can kind of get a good look at the colors. And I'm going to name them each as I do that. But I'm going to hold it up really close for you to take a look at first. And then we'll go over each color. Um, these are very warm, earthy shades. Uh, you might actually think they remind you a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Uh, there are some similar shades uh, but this is a lot more affordable. Uh, like I said, it's $20. And the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Modern Renaissance palette, is what twice that much? A uh, little more even. And so this would be a good affordable option for you. 
Uh, actually, I have the modern Renaissance one and this one. So, you know, if you're a collector and a, uh, of eyeshadow palettes and all makeup things like I am, you know, hey, why not get both, huh? But I would go ahead and check this one out because it is very, very pretty and very, very affordable. Okay, on the top row, the first one here is a light yellowy white kind of an eggshell color. It's called Virgo. The next one is called Fab and it's kind of a tan. The Virgo is a shimmer. Uh, the tan is a matte, so you have both shimmers and mattes. The third one on the top row is called Latte. It is a shimmery brown. Then you have this pretty rusty color, and it is called Guru, and it is a matte. This next one I really love. It is kind of a burgundy taupe color, uh, and it's called Mitten, and it is a shimmer. And the last one on the top row is also a shimmer, and it is a deeper brown called Sugar Bear. All right, the bottom row, the first one is a pretty kind of a yellowy peach, if that makes sense, and it is called Polished, and it is a shimmer. Can you see it? And the next one here is a shimmery brown, kind of a light brown, and it is called Fox. This next one is a pretty um, kind of a medium, uh, medium orangey, rusty color. It's called Arizona, kind of an earthy terracotta color, which is very pretty. The next one is a little bit pinker uh, of a terracotta shade, but it's still in that orangey terracotta family, and it is called Franklin, and it is a shimmer. Uh, the next one is a more rusty brown. It is a shimmer, and it's called Cocoa. And the last one is a, is a shimmery, medium to dark brown, and it's called, kind of a golden brown. It's shimmery, and it's called Lewis. All right, did, did everybody get a decent look? at these shadows. I'm kind of trying this little way of showing them today uh, just so you can get a better look. I really do recommend this palette. Like I said, it's lasted through two days of allergies. Uh, I have not had any fallout with it. Um, the colors are very pigmented. There's it doesn't have a, a fragrance, so if you have, you know, problems with uh, smelly things, this does not have any fragrance. Um, it is just a very good palette. I do not know if this is a limited edition palette. Uh, it might be, but I do not know for sure. So if you are interested in picking up this Miss Fabulous eyeshadow palette, you might want to go ahead and do it just in case it is a limited edition. I think it's well worth the $20, which is very affordable. And it's just really, really nice. And I'm really happy for Jenny Fox that she has her own product. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Remember, Jesus loves you so much, and I do too. God bless you all. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.